Welcome to the first episode of our new series, The Engine Room, brought to you by Land Rover. Glasgow Warriors and Land Rover recently extended their partnership together, which is huge news to the club, having a partner on board with nearly two decades of heritage in rugby. Speaking to Land Rover, we both wanted to create something that allows Warriors fans to stay connected with the club and its players. We also wanted to offer fans the chance to get to know us a little bit better over the course of the season. For each episode in the engine room, some of my fellow Warriors will come along for the ride where we'll discuss the hot topics in rugby, recent performances and what drives the players in the team, with a few surprises along the way for good measure. Today we have two wonderful guests. Uh, the Flying Virgin, Nico Matawalu. Nico, how are you, brother? I'm good, brother. I'm good. How are you? And then, obviously, one of the young boys uh, that I'm surprised his head fits on the screen at the moment after yeah. getting man of the match a few weeks ago, Ross Thompson. How are you, son? Yeah, good. How are you? Good, man. Good. We only seen each other about five minutes ago. We just came back from training. Didn't we? <laughs> um, so they wanted us to talk about lockdown to start with. I don't know why, because I'm fed up of talking about it. Um, how have you boys, you far away boys, but how have you boys found lockdown and, and this, this difficult season that we've had to, to go through at the moment? How are you finding it? Okay, I think everyone's pretty much like over it, aren't they? Um, I guess like we've we've obviously had a little bit of normality just trying to get the chance to play rugby and go to training. Um, but yeah, I think hopefully as soon as they open up restaurants and pubs and stuff, that'll be good. It's it's easy for me and Neeks. We've got a family, eh, Neeks? We've got yeah. <laughs> we've got the, the kids to keep us busy. Ross, you live on your own? No, I'm, I live with uh, four mates from uni. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Bloody hell, well, there's like, five yeah. of you in a flat. Yeah, um, like, they've all been here. Uh, like, since they went they went home in December and then came back. But uh, yeah, it's chaos. But now they they've all been really good about it. Like, obviously, because we, we get tested uh, what twice a week now. I've obviously had to be pretty careful like throughout the whole time. Um, but now they've been pretty good about it, but at least it gives me some company. Ross, we've seen Jamie Dobby get called up for, you know, he's naturally now yeah. in there, not just as a training reserve, but he's in the in the full squad now, which is which is brilliant to see. Um, you're close to Jamie, aren't you? And, you know, I suppose that gives you a lot of hope, seeing a young guy like that do well at the club and and then push on to Scotland stuff. Yeah, like, oh yeah, I'm good mates with him. And he's like, he's so good, isn't he? Like he's, obviously he's bloody young and... Um, Came straight out of school to play pro rugby, which is pretty impressive. And to get called, like, well, yeah, because he was, he was training with them. He was just invited to train, wasn't he? And then yeah. to be called up after uh, the Ulster game, which he was which he was really good in as well. Um, no, nah, he definitely deserves it, I reckon. And hopefully he gets, maybe gets a chance to play at some point soon. Yeah, too right. I want to see him in a Scotland shirt. Um, obviously, you know, like we said there, Ross, you know, this, this time with players going away gives the younger guys an opportunity and you know, like to see yourself and, and Jamie have really stepped up. But you look at the likes of Ollie, Rufus um, and then Cole Forbes, three guys that have recently re signed uh, professional contracts. Um, exciting time for those. Just a little bit on Cole Forbes. Nick, you might know a little bit about him being that side of the world. But this Cole Forbes um, looks sharp in training, man. He's a typical Kiwi. He just wants to smash everyone. Um, <laughs> with a bag, he's outstanding. So I'm looking to see him without a bag. Um, I can just see him. He's like really solid, to be fair. Like uh, the Maori, like blood on him. I can see him. He's like tough, uh, fast too, I reckon. Obviously, we've had um, a lot of players joining us on not just loan, but players coming in and out, um, you know, with having so many players away to Scotland and then COVID and all this sort of stuff. Um, one of the rituals at the club, um, Neeks, you can describe this because I'm the one that actually ends up doing it. But what happens to a player when they when they first get to the club, Neeks? In the meeting, first, they have to like uh, stand up in front of the the players and then stand up on the on the chair and uh, explain himself where he come from uh, how many brothers uh, how many sister uh, what his um, uh, talent and after that then chuck it to the boys to ask question for him who have we had recently it's been a little bit interesting it's been a bit different um, I was quite surprised that Rufus, he's a pretty clever person, isn't he? He's a clever bloke. What is he? Can speak yeah, Mandarin? Yeah, no, nah, Spanish. he's doing Spanish at uni. Um, that's Strathclyde. Uh, so Did I just make Mandarin up? Yeah, I don't know where you got Mandarin from. I'm pretty sure he can speak yeah. Mandarin. 
Uh, he does. Uh, he does Spanish. He's speaking Spanish, and I thought it was Mandarin. Yeah, yeah. Is he, he speaks with uh, Enrique all the time, like in Spanish? Oh. They've given us a few ones here. Ross Finn Russell to be the Lions' number ten. Yes. Yeah. Got to be. Got to be. Completely, completely agree with that. Yeah. If it's not you, mate, it'll be Finn. Don't worry. <laughs> No, it's got to be fair. That's what you were telling me the other day that you were expecting. What, the what call. I, yeah. Not <laughs> Cut out, I said Cut to you, mate, wait, wait for the call from Gregor before you go to the Lions. And you said, no, Will, so I reckon that'll be me straight into the yeah. Lions. <laughs> right, Nico, yeah. we're going to play. Okay, here's another one. You have to name players that have played for Glasgow and Edinburgh. Okay? And you're going to go Ross first, then Nico, and it's the first yeah. one. I'm able to do it. Like, for example, here I go, Fraser Brown, Ross. Uh, Sean Kennedy. Uh, Duncan Weir. No. Yeah. 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 Hold on. Did yes. Duncan yeah, play yeah. for Edinburgh? Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. God, I forgot he went to Edinburgh. Traitor. I got one. Hey, oh, wait there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Calm down. Um, I'm going to go for someone that's in the squad with us at the moment. They haven't played yet, but they will. Tom Brown. Um, George Turner played. He, I think he's played for Edinburgh. Yeah. Has he? I'm sure. Yeah, sh- I think so. Oh, I'm thinking George Thornton. Idiot. All right, no. Okay, Turner. yeah. Okay. Go, go again. Ready, Ross? Go. George Turner. Nico. Mark Bennett. Oh, yeah. Mark Bennett. Nice. Um, Lee Jones? Has Jones he played for Edinburgh? I, I'm, his, sure, I'm sure I remember his... Andy Allen telling me once that he's played, like, he's played for Edinburgh. Andy yeah. Allen? Yeah. I'm pretty much out of it then. I've I've lost. I'm out. So it's between you two, Nico. Uh, who's the tall guy? Marshall. Nice. <laughs> Marshall. Did, he, oh. did he play a game for Glasgow? Though? Yeah. Yeah, once. Uh, Baba. Baba. Oh, yeah. That's what he was going to be my one. Yeah. Um. Uh. Wait, wait, Ross. Don't say it, Nico. You got five seconds. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Ross, give us one more. I was going to say, um, Cami Fenton. Do you remember him? Yeah, Cami Fenton, the hooker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hot, so, yeah. Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed episode one of The Engine Room brought to you by Land Rover. Please let us know if there's any topics or guests that you would like to see next. Thank you very much to our guests, Ross Thompson and Nico Matawalu. And a massive thank you to our sponsor of the show, Land Rover. And again, thank you for your continued support. Goodbye, everybody. See you later, boys. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye.